Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Weird. All dogs wag their tails. Why doesn't Wash wag his? Maybe a heart pumping workout will get that tail wagging. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> get it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you just need someone to show you how. See, Washington? Like this! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, uh, I'm showing my dog how to wag his, uh... Better call the vet. And for Victoria, a new toy filled with catnip. That's right, Doc. Washington won't wag. So you can see why I'm concerned. He never wags his tail. Are you sure? Think long and hard. Uh, What's all the drama about? Whatever it is, it has something to do with my tail not being able to wag. This is because you're a wild fox. Domesticated foxes can wag. It's genetic. I've seen it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> You're so on it, you're... Okay, maybe not. No! Ah! No! Uh, nope. I can't remember the last time I saw his tail wag. Maybe never. Well, I don't have to see him. To make a diagnosis, your dog is just not happy. As the rhyme goes, if it doesn't wag, it's sad. But that doesn't really rhyme. <laughs> of course it does. I went to college. I mean, how well do you really know your dog? Maybe he isn't happy with you in the city. Maybe he'd be happier in the country. You should think about sending him to a farm. Do you mean it? You think Washington would be better off on a farm? Far away from us? Who knows? <laughs> of course! Well, if he doesn't wag very soon, we'll send him away. <gasps> After all, you are the medical professional. Oh, oh yes, I'm even wearing a white coat and a stethoscope. An emergency. The elves think I'm defective because my tail doesn't wag. So if I don't wag really, really soon, I'm gonna get sent to the country. I don't even know where that is. It's far. Lots of cows. Oh. We'll probably never see you again. <laughs> what? If only we could help you wag. No, uh -oh. he's about to make that call. We gotta do something. I know. How about you? Uh, uh... Hey, maybe we should talk to some real dogs and see if they've got some tips. That's what I was gonna say. We could ask. Uh... Plato and Alvarez. But what if they guess my secret? What if they realize I'm not really a dog? Hmm. We'll think of. Yeah. Something. What? Bizarre. A dog unable to wag its tail? Yes, a dog friend of a dog friend. <laughs> we barely know this strange dog. 
He's a normal dog. Well, his bark is a little weird. This is Washington we're talking about, yes? It doesn't matter. We can't explain it. When we're happy, we work. It just happens. Please, guys, just a demo. This is a desperate situation. Why not? It's fun when you beg. Move all your tail muscles to the left, then to the right. Start slow, repeat. Come on. And one and two, 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 and one and two. I think I saw something. Yeah. No, no, no. Not up and down. That's not a wag. Right and left. Right and left. Right and left. I'm afraid we can't help you. Sorry, you're just too weird. If Washington doesn't wag his tail, the elves will send him to a farm. Yikes! Huh? I'd rather live in the wild than on a farm. Oh, please. Washington would never survive in the wild. <laughs> just do it. Go over there. It's worth a try. Huh? Doc, it's me, Mr. Owl. He's worse off than we thought. Washington is wagging his tail. But it goes up and down, not right to left. Oh, Doctor, what's wrong with him? Ah, ah. Now look what you've done. This is all your fault. The vet says it's all my fault. <laughs> I guess we're just not the right owners for him. Come on, Sam! It's a cat toy filled with catnip! It's for cats! Exactly! That's why I like it so much, because I am a cat! Huh? <laughs> sure you are, just like Washington is a dog whose tail doesn't work. What's that supposed to do? Wagging machine! getting worse. He's going bananas. Doctor, it's official. There's something very wrong with Washington. Of course there is. I'll pick him up in the morning and take him to the country forever. Sound good? Yes, Doctor. See you in the morning. Okay. And don't go to any trouble. Uh, just coffee for me. Bye now. <sighs> Sorry, boy. We thought we were the perfect match for you. We've got to try something else. <laughs> I think I better take off for the wild like Alvarez said. Otherwise, I could end up on a farm forever. I won't let you go back to the wild alone, Washington. We'll <laughs> all go back. No, no, no. It would break the Living Stones' hearts. And they're sad enough about me being defective as it is. I've got to do this alone. You can split my dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. You can whatever. Bye. You're so dramatic. You really don't get it, do you? Get what? Why they're sending you away. Do you know something? I might have some information. Vic, please! Rush is about to be sent to the country and we'll never see him again. Tell us what you know. Cat toy, please. For keeps. For keeps? <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> care if your tail works or not. They just want to see you're happy. Why do you think I purr all the time? They just want to see I'm happy? That's easy. I'll show them I'm happy like they've never seen before. Washington's really losing it! 
<laughs> we may not be perfect, but we're better together than we are apart. Huh? Yeah, hello, it's your trusty vet. Sorry, Doc. False alarm. Everything is okay now. Really? Absolutely. Just have a look. <laughs> See? Everything is fine. Sorry to have bothered you, Doc. Have a good day. Oh, 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 oh. That family is completely nuts. Okay, guys. I'm bringing you back to the forest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. My boss is coming to dinner, and I want to see no one in the living room. Come on, hut hut, everybody out. Boy, how annoying. Just when we were about to find out the identity of the guy behind the horse mask. And there's nothing to do outside. Inside is so much better. Say, life in the forest must have been a nightmare without TV. That's not true. We never got bored in the forest. We played tons of games. Yeah. How about we play Guess the Snout? This game is far too easy for a fox. I'm going to obliterate you. <laughs> a cinch. Gotcha, Sam. Well, you were saying, Washington? No, I wasn't ready. Let's start over. Yeah, too right. And anyway, he keeps walking off. Whoa! Watch out for the road! <laughs> <laughs> Alvarez? Is that you? Alvy! Mmm, it's soft, kind of sticky. This nose has got to belong to... Victoria! Maybe we should play something else. Why? What's the problem? Let's just say, Space and you don't seem to go together. Let's just say, you're hopeless. If that's the way it is, I quit playing. I'm going inside. So there, and besides, I want to find out who this horse guy is. Mm -hmm. The house is the other way! Isn't that incredible? That dog crossed the whole country to get back home to its owners. Like everyone knows, the dog's sense of direction is second to none. Isn't that right, Washington? <laughs> a dog could never replace my GPS. Don't listen, boy. Your instincts will always be technology, hands down. <laughs> With my navigation assistant, I simply enter a destination and zip. I'm guided straight there. No ifs, no buts. I'd be very surprised a dog can do the same. Unless Washington is an expert in map reading. <laughs> My dog is a million times better than your dumb GPS. Oh, it depends on what you're looking for. Sometimes dogs are better, but sometimes nothing beats a GPS. I say get them both and you'll be happy. <laughs> At lunch, we'll have a race. Washington against your GPS. That way, we'll find out. <laughs> no brainer. I'm counting on you, big fella. Whoa! <laughs> At least there's someone here who recognizes my talents. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really know what you're letting yourself in for? You have absolutely zero sense of direction. And if the boss wins, Mr. Livingstone is going to be very, very disappointed. And then he'll start wondering if his dog is really a dog after all. 
maybe I overestimated my abilities. If you'll excuse me, I'd rather not watch this. Farewell, friends. Deep down, I loved you dearly. Enjoy your trip back to the forest. Uh -oh. What am I gonna do? Because of me, we all have to go back and live in the woods. We must find some way to win this race. Unless that GPS breaks down, I have no chance. Gotta confess, I am hopeless. <gasps> of course, that's it. We have to sabotage the GPS. Great idea, Wash. But that isn't enough. What about you? How are you going to find your way home? Oh, I know. Sam and I will lay a kibble trail back to the house. All Wash has to do is follow the kibble. <laughs> <laughs> what a klutz. Never leave a window open. Uh, what are you doing? I saw that on TV. Slip your paw through the car window and the door will spring open. Hmm. Say, <laughs> what does a GPS look like? Hello. What is your destination, please? Well done, Susie. Go on, sabotage it. <laughs> uh, okay. How? <gasps> Just look for a cable and pull on it. Oh. <laughs> Have you done it? Have you sabotaged the PBS? You mean the GPS? That's what I said. Not yet. Right now, all we've done is get Susie tangled up in the glove box. In 800 yards, turn left. In 800 yards, turn left. In 808, in 800 yards, turn wow. left. Wow, well done, Susie. With you pulling the strings, there's absolutely no way the boss will find his way back. From the top of this hill, it takes exactly the same amount of time to get home by foot as it does by car. <laughs> My GPS knows all the shortcuts. It's not too late to give up before I humiliate you. Give up? Never. Very well. Count to, uh, let's say 1,000, then take off your blindfolds. May the best man win! One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, seven, nine hundred and ninety-nine, one thousand. 999, 1,000! Take it away, my beauty. Send us right back to where we came from. In 800 yards, turn left. So, where's the house? Well done, Washington. I knew I could count on your instincts. hungry along the way. Oh, no! Sam, what are we going to do? Without kibble, Wash will never find his way home. Why did you have to guzzle back the kibble? You already have a lot of food stashed in your costume. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Sam. Your costume is always crammed with food. Let me see. <laughs> I can't wait to see Livingstone's silly loser face. This is going to be fun. In 800 yards, turn left. Aha! Uh -huh. Just what I thought! It's uh, not the way it looks. Perfect! Wash is sure to recognize his favorite dog candy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Sam. I get an idea. The rappers! Direction will prove once and for all that Wash is a real dog. Hm? Uh oh, there's something wrong. What? It's a wrapper from the dog candy. Sam! <laughs> That's strange. I've got this uncanny feeling of deja vu. In 800 yards, turn left. I'm sure I've already turned left here. In 800 yards, turn left. Oh no, Wash, what have you done? We're right back where we started! Yeah? <laughs> so, 
Lost, are we? <laughs> I knew it! A dog could never beat my GPS! Got a technical hitch? I might be lost, but at least my dog knows how to turn right! I don't my understand what went wrong! Maybe GPS. a big greedy warthog passed by and ate our trail? <laughs> Okay, if we can't help Wash without being spotted, at least we can create a diversion. A diversion? I'll take care of that. It's the least I can do. <laughs> ah, a wild boar! What's got into you, Livingstone? <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. The boys got talent. But how do we get out of this mess? I have no idea, but I need you to guide me back to the house. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Wash? It's about time. <laughs> what happened? Why are you all alone? <laughs> but, but it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Something's happened to my husband. <laughs> Here. Clear off, you beast! In 800 yards, turn oh. left. Thank you again for a magnificent day. The pleasure was all ours. And thank you again, honey. You really saved us. It's Washington who saved you. Ouch. <laughs> Gotta say, there's no way your GPS could have saved us from a wild hog. Uh, I must confess, I am deeply indebted to that dog of yours. This is one TV binge we definitely deserved. I will admit that just for once, you came through okay. If Susie hadn't taken control of the GPS, and if Sam hadn't ripped off his costume, I'd have been a goner. Sam, mm -hmm. where are Sam and Susie? <laughs> yeah, guys, where are you? Okay, I think it's dinner time. <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. We're gonna win, we're gonna win, we're gonna win! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Fishy. 
And then there's everyone's favorite event, the pet race. And through the Joker's Tunnel, a surprise obstacle awaits on the other side. How exciting! Oh, no. And the winner of the race will receive a... Year's Supply of Pet Food! A year's Supply? You? <laughs> Please, they can't be serious. You know, I didn't really want to race. Until now. Well, I think it's time for me to fade out. That kind of partying stuff, that's really not my cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Vicky! Oh, no! <laughs> Alfie! <laughs> I see you, wild ones. You're coming back with me into the forest where you belong. Kabaki <laughs> Kitty!
Doesn't seem right. <laughs> huh? Where did the race track go? Are you nuts? I can smell each and every one of you. Where's the rest of the gang? You're all staying here in the wild, like real animals, where you belong. But we're too fancy for life in the wild. Huh? Ah! Hey! Huh? <laughs> 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 Hey, good plan. It's confusing, Mitch. Keep it up. It's working. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here before he wakes up. Huh? Wait, where's Gracie and Alfie? Mm -hmm. And Vic! Who cares? You supply a pet food, remember? Ta-ta! Wow, what a jerk! <laughs> Wait for me, I'll go and check! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. News! 
Newsflash! City police are still looking for two masked burglars, Edgar and Marnie. If you have any information concerning their whereabouts, please contact your local precinct. Ha! Super mask! Super mask! Super mask! Super, super mask! Super mask! Super mask! A fox always lands on his paws. Quick, it's time! Super mask! Super mask! Super mask! time favorite show. Super Mask is super, super awesome. <laughs> Not half as awesome as my super claw. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> now then, oh. it's time for my favorite show called My Third Nap. <laughs> Anybody have a bandage? How are we gonna watch our show now? I really wanted to see this one too. I've only seen it seven times. My friends, would Super Mask ever back down from the enemy? Never! Never. And would Super Mask back down from a little cat claw? Never! Uh, maybe? Great, here's our mission. We must face off with the diabolical Dr. Victorious and regain control of the TV. Yeah! yeah! Don't make a sound. We're gonna take the enemy by surprise. <laughs> Sam! Sorry, missions make me hungry. <gasps> hey, why that's a super yeah. mask. Ooh, super? Super? <gasps> super mask! <gasps> you guys look like real superheroes! Even better than on TV! Yup, and with these masks, no one will ever guess we're wild animals. Totally! <laughs> Change of mission, my friends. Real superheroes have much more important things to do than worry about Dr. Victorious. Yeah. Yes. And what we're gonna do is pig out on pizza. Uh, I was thinking more along the lines of saving the world, like Super Mask. Hmm? No, okay. Pizza after? <laughs> <laughs> A mission for the masked fox. <laughs> My balloon. <laughs> this is a mission for Captain Blackbird. Oh, oh, oh. Who turned off all the lights? Oh, it was me. <laughs> oh. Please, somebody help me! Please! 
This is a mission for Bar Boy! <gasps> Yum! That smells like a roast chicken in distress! Ah! I was sure I hit them behind these garbage cans. Edgar, look at what I just found. We're not looking for cat and dog costumes, knucklehead. We're looking for our masks. Oh, the police! Ah. Quick, hide! Move, Big Bud, I can't breathe. Hurry up! Oops, sorry. Wash? Sam? Is that huh? you? Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Meow. Woof, woof. Meow. There's a little surprise waiting for you in the kitchen. <laughs> Suck in your gut, fat cat. <laughs> yum, yum. And who gets uh, some scrumptious kibble wibble? My two little munchkins do. <laughs> Enjoy your meal, sweeties! Wow! Something worse than prison food! This kid was actually pretty good! We got work to do! Eat later! Feel the wind on your fur! Oh, the joy of being costume free! Stop! Don't make a move, you crooks! <laughs> Stay where you are, Buster! We've got you this time! Uh, change your plans, guys. Run for your life! Ah! So, the masks we found, they belong to the burglars. Which is why the police thought we were them. Bingo! So all we have to do is put our costumes back on. Problem solved. Oh, no! The only costumes still here are Eugenie and Susie's. Hey! <gasps> The real burglars, disguised as us? Burgling our fake identities. And even worse, burgling our house. And way worse than that, stealing our TV. No more super masks. <laughs> hey, <laughs> time for my post-nap snack. And way worse than that, if we don't get our costumes back, no more house. <laughs> Smells like roast chicken. Huh? <laughs> 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 you watch what you're doing, you bunch of barbarians? Uh, what happened to your costumes? Let me show you. <gasps> All set? Did we forget anything? Well, I could go for some more kibble. Eh? Ah! Burglars! We've got to warn the Living Stones right now! No, first we have to get our costumes back. <laughs> Super Claws to the rescue! That honey? Mission accomplished. It's coming from the kitchen. Huh? You? Our costumes, mm. quick! Hey! You're the burglars they were talking about on the news! Bingo! I'm going to call the police. As soon as I charge my phone. You're not as fat as you look on TV. Thank, Thank you. you. Breaking news! 
Christmas burglars Edgar and Marnie were caught today all thanks to a family of very clever pets. Super pets, you might say. Superheroes. And that calls for a real reward. Roast chicken for all. Let's go. Yeah. You're not coming, Wash? Phew. Being a superhero was exhausting. I gotta rest. More for me. And that is how the masked fox once again took control of the TV. <laughs> I have defeated you once more, Dr. Victorious. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. bark worth a hoot after all this time. How ridiculous is that? Gracie Appleseed? See that, Wash? It's a present for us. Uh, no, wrong address. It's the house just next door. Oh, I'm sure that was a box full of kibble and Gracie will never share them with us. Uh, Sam, humans don't eat kibble. Humans, maybe not, but kids do. They eat them for breakfast with milk. I saw it on TV. Sam, I'll bet you a whole roasted chicken that's not kibble. Ah. <laughs> you know what? Catch me! You know what? Catch me! It wasn't kibble. I didn't think that I just lost a roasted chicken. Boy, this day is off to a bad start. No, Sam. Now that Alfie and Gracie have a tablet, they're gonna spend all their time on it. Meaning, they'll leave us alone. <laughs> Animal. Hamstera stupidicus. Health. Good. Intelligence, very limited. Whoa! Did you see that, Alfie? With this hair test, I'm gonna be able to find out everything about all the animals in the neighborhood! <laughs> <laughs> it's true, huh? Vincent isn't very sharp. Right, Wash? Wash? Come on! We'll do a test on Fat Cat! Where do you see a fat cat? That's you, Sam! Run! <laughs> Come here, kitty cat! Come here! Cats know how to climb trees, and I am a real cat! You are absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. If Gracie and Alfie run their test on us, our goose is cooked. Goose? You mean we'll get fried goose? <sighs> no, Sam. It's just an expression. We're the geese. That hair test will know that the hair from our costumes is fake, and Alfie and Gracie will unmask us. Oh, that's no fun. What are we going to do inside? The greatest thing in the world. <laughs> Sam! Hey, move, Sam! We can't see anything! Sorry, but I really, really had 
have to go eat something. Hey, look! Now the screen is super clean. But I'm starving. Absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. Unless, of course, it's in order to save a roasted chicken in distress. Ta -da! Welcome back, kitty. <laughs> Sam, check it out. It looks like Vic dressed as a granny. <laughs> Sam, Sammy. Oh. <laughs> Error, unknown species. Error. Unknown Maybe species. it's some species that hasn't been discovered yet. You will be put in touch with a specialist. Please hold the line. <laughs> it's irresistible, isn't it? <laughs> Can you please come? We've discovered an unknown species of an animal thanks to our hair test. Oh, I'm not a unicorn. Listen, I don't have time for childish behavior. I told you, teaming up with that toy company was a stupid idea. Wait a second. Unknown species. Yeah. Unknown species. Just think about it, Vladimir. This is the mm. chance of a lifetime for you to win the Nobel Prize for veterinarians. So oh, come now. You can't be serious, Velma. What if this species is dangerous? But just imagine a new species carrying your name. The Vladimirius Quadrupedus Rex. You'll be famous throughout the world. Go on, Vladimir. This is your chance to prove your genius. Maintain the specimen in captivity. I'm on my way. Sam's <laughs> been captured. The veterinarian is on his way to examine him. Ah, Sam's going to be sent back to the forest? Not if we work as a team. I've got an unbeatable plan. You stall the vet while I go ask a favor from Vic. Something she'll never be able to refuse. No. Oh, you're joking. Why, I thought that... No <laughs> means no. But but I just need a few of your hairs to replace those of Sam's for the hair test to make the vet believe Sam's a real cat. Sorry, I just hate it when my hair gets pulled out. Forget it. Find yourself another plan. But I don't have another plan. Do you have any ideas? Cranky Genie, use your super jumping rabbit power. <laughs> Oh, Is that dog gone crazy or what? That's quite enough, Vladimir. Stop behaving like a child. You're being ridiculous. I assure you, Velma, this door has a bad case of the flu. Do you think the vet has given up? For sure. We're way too strong for him. Maybe he'll never ever dare to go outside again. Gracie. What do you do with an unknown animal species? Well, you put them in cages and run scientific experiments on them. And then you open them up to see what they're made of inside. Hey, Sam! Vic told me that humans just can't resist a cat that purrs, and then the cat can do whatever it wants. Do you know how to purr? You're joking, I hope. That's my specialty. Purr! Purr! Huh? Two one-way signs? This city has gone completely mad! We did it! He stopped! Yes, 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 yes. Yes. It may be one way the wrong way going forward, but not that <laughs> way! Huh? He looks kind of angry. Do you hear the noises he's making? Unknown animal no. sound. Hmm? Try again. Awesome! It's got a voice recognition app, too! Forget the purring, Sam! Just try meowing! If the hair test recognizes your meow, you'll be identified as a cat! Meow! Meow! Unknown and aggressive <sighs> roar. Unidentified and dangerous species. Reinforced security required. <laughs> Victoria! 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 Victoria!
Yes. <sighs> no, I said yes, meaning that yes, I know that Wash's unbeatable plan did not work. Did you seriously think huh? I was going to tear out my hair to make him happy? But then the veterinarian is going to realize that Sam is not a real cat. And he'll want to run the test on us, too. And we'll all be sent back to the forest. Okay, all right, I'll help you. But there is no way you're pulling one single hair out of me, okay? Mm-hmm. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Coming! <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'm gonna find a solution. All we have to do is, uh... Here, put this in the hair test. Vic, you... you... you pulled out your hair for Sam? Are you nuts? But that's the Livingstone's cat! It's not a cat! Look at the hair test results! Unknown, unclassified species of feline, humanoid, Lupus cani, reptili, error, huh? error, error. Uh, uh, uh. Whose idea was to invent such a silly toy? Nothing compared to the expert opinion of an expert. My conclusion is definitive. This poor beast is nothing but an ordinary cat that you have traumatized. Oh, but don't worry, he'll get over it. This game really stinks. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you, Vic. Being a cat myself, I know how difficult it must have been for you to tear out some of your hair for... I didn't tear out any hair. I got them out of the vacuum cleaner. But it seems there was a wide variety of hair in there. Not bad. Which just means that maybe you and I should collaborate more often, Vic. Only in your dreams, Wash. Error. Unknown species. Unknown species. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Fave toy, where are we rockin'? Sentimental Hospital, Veronica. Dr. Alessandro, why I love you too. Welcome to my new edition of Kibble Run. Open to all the animals in disguise on the block. The first one will win the Kibble Cup. Yay! <laughs> and may the best beast win. Wow, good one, Sam. You almost sound like a real cat. And why wouldn't I sound like a real cat? I am a real cat. <laughs> <laughs> a real cat? Yeah, right. And I'm a wild boar in the sky. <laughs> what is that thing? Wow! Catnip! <laughs> Cats just love that stuff. <laughs> Give me that right now, you stuffing warthog, you. What's going on? No idea. He's just trying to be clever, I suppose. At least I hope so. Yes, he <laughs> knows. And I've got lots of yummy salmon kibble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, what's gotten into you? Just look at Victoria. You squashed her like a pancake. She's gone all limp, like a rag doll. Look. You deserve the angry eyes treatment. Yeah. You just look at that. How could I possibly resist? Come here, you. Hmm. 
Uh, you okay, Victoria? No, can't. <laughs> Little Sammy is happy. He's so happy. I have never heard him purr like that before. Right, so enough already. I've got repairs to do. But before that, a nice shower and gotta hide the kibble. Hey, Sam, uh, be careful, okay? You're not a real cat. Not a real cat? That's not cat that in that. That's not cat in that. Meow! That's not cat. I am a real cat. That's it. We're gonna have to do something fast to get him back. What a magnificent series. What emotion. What a... Oh, I love this series. Say, just between us cats, how about lending me your fave toy that smells so good? Yeah, that's for our favorite wild boar. Enjoy, Sam. I'm sure you'll feel much better after this. What is this stuff? Acorns? What in the world am I supposed to do with those? I only eat kibble. Kitty kibble. Yeah. <laughs> You're sick. Sam? You're not a cat, you're a wild boar. A wild animal like me. We come from the forest! <laughs> what kind of nonsense is that? I am a cat, and cats sure don't hang out with dogs. And as for your bowl of rotten acorns, take them by yourself! This isn't gonna be easy. <laughs> What's gotten into him? I'm losing my best friend. Hey, these things aren't so bad after all. A bit harder than teeth, but not bad at all. Mind giving me some? Weird. A dog, a rabbit, and a canary eating acorns together? Maybe I shouldn't have brought home kibble after all. Meow! First, it's my sofa, then my kibble, and now my ball. Enough is enough. Huh? Unless. Hey, Sam, check it out. Nugget and Fluffy are waiting to play with you in the yard. Seriously cool. Thanks, Victoria. Yay! What's that? Yeah. Yeah. Peace at last. Boy, I love my life. Those acorns really weren't bad at all. You think there are any left? Don't move. I'll go look. It's really kind of weird what's happened to Sam. Any thoughts, Victoria? None. All I know is that ever since he knocked his head on the mirror, he's become inseparable. <gasps> of course. That's it! Sam lost his memory and doesn't know who he is anymore. Oh, yeah? And how would you know that, huh? Yeah, how would you know that? Okay, in Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro has a motorcycle accident and hits his head. And since the first thing he sees when he wakes up is the doctor who's come to his rescue, he thinks he's a stethoscope. It's the same with Sam. He hit his head, lost his memory, and when he saw his reflection in the mirror, he thought he was a cat. Un... Unbelievable! And do you have any idea where he is? Hmm, I think he went into the yard to play with the neighbors. Nugget and Fluffy? Given how nosy they are, if Sam's convinced he's a real cat and he gets too chummy with them, they're gonna unmask him and we'll be next. Girls, we've gotta get him back inside! Take your time! <sighs> Nanny says to me, wild boars don't know how to purr. Can you believe <laughs> he called me a wild boar! Sam, mind coming over here for a sec? Just a minute, girls. Sam, chill out, okay? They're not your friends. You've got to come home right this second. Buzz off, sticking dog. And why, pray tell, should I return to a house with a dog in it anyway? Sam, try and remember you're a wild boar. You're a wild animal like us, the forest. All that. They know <laughs> me right now. Anyway, all dogs lie all the time. I'm going back on the roof amongst my own kind. <sighs> No way. He's just too weird. He says we're all wild. Did we come from the forest, you know? Complete nonsense. From where? The forest? You're wild? Oh, no. Yeah, but he's always saying bizarre things. For sure. You know what dogs are like. Unbelievable. My best friend is going to tell the neighbors everything and we're going to have to return to the forest. Out of the question. He's got to get his memory back right now. Our lives depend on it. Victoria, you've got to help us save Sam. And why does that concern me? Because Sam surely didn't just stumble on Nugget and Fluffy out of the blue, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Girls, your turn. Victoria, no! no not, not the, the forest! forest not, not the forest! forest. Oh, 
All right, I'll help you. <laughs> hey! Calm down now and listen, Victoria. Thank you, Washington. So, Dr. Alessandro gets his memory back when he has the exact same motorcycle accident. <laughs> That's silly. Are you, uh, serious? Completely. Except that Sam can't be wearing his costume. He has to see himself as he really is in the mirror. Gotcha! Eugenie, Susie, follow me. We're gonna reenact the race just like it happened. Make the quick for the sewer dive. Is this the joke or what? <sighs> when it rains, it pours. <laughs> and so then I tell hey, him, Sam, yeah? mind coming over here for a sec? Coming! I'll be right back. <clears throat> Phew, I thought he'd never leave. He's even weirder than that city friend of his. The Kibble Cup race is on again! The first one to catch the other wins this awesome bucket of kibble! Against you? Ha! A cinch! You ready? Go! 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 That, Sam, that is my costume. Just like yours, or Susie's, or Eugenie's. Look! Yeah? Ta -da! Ah! It's even worse than I thought! I'm gonna go tell the girls right now! Oh no, my costume! We've gotta stop him! The way a doggy took off his dog fur and he's got rabbit ears! <laughs> yeah? Where'd they go? I've gotta go see the human! And we really are goners. All I have to do now is sit down and wait until they take me back to the forest. <laughs> Ooh. No, we've still got a chance. No! The day is back. Huh? Hey. Hurry up, he's super heavy! Sam, look in the mirror! Here I am, girls! Well, just look at this, Sam. A chicken was clogging the machine. Sam? Uh, Sam, where are you? Why were you meowing like that? A wild boar, a wild yeah? boar. We've gotta be fast, girls! Mr. Livingstone is coming! Where in the world has Sam gone to now? Sam? What's going on here? What are you doing in the sink? Right, well, I'm going back to my repairs. Glad to see you're back, Sam. Yeah, we missed you a ton. <laughs> Girls, get the mirror ready. I have the feeling he thinks he might be a rabbit now. Here we go again. <laughs> Sam thinks he's a rabbit now. Okay. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Tell me when to stop, okay? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Meow. Arf, arf. Oh, is Sam Sam arf, hungry? Arf. 
Thought I'd just opened that this morning. Uh, that'll be enough for you today. Enjoy your meal. Ten second view. <laughs> Sam! Someone shrunk my costume! Someone shrunk it! Get back in your suit right now! If you don't, everybody will notice that you're not a cat but a big fat boar! <laughs> you guys, Sam's costume doesn't fit anymore! Give me a hand, fast! Enunciate! Uh, I think he says I'm suffocating. <laughs> You've got to fight for your right to get back into costume! Come on! No, Sam! No, Sam! Master pal! <laughs> hey! Where are you going? Whoa, man. What's all the racket? Come on, Sam. Your training's not over. Hmm. Well, I'll be. You. A pig that meows. Arf, 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 arf. <laughs> arf, 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 arf. It, go away with your weird bark. <laughs> Sam, I'm gonna get you out. We're going to hoist you over. Honey! Who wants a treat? <laughs> Hang on tight, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I love that toy. Good boy. Get it, honey bunch. Sam, what about your diet? You don't understand. You're just a skinny fox. I hate squeezing into my costume, and I like eating cookies. Huh? Miss Treat likes the real me. But Sam, the warmth of a cookie can't compare to the warmth of a family. Well... There you go, honey bunch! <laughs> I'd rather leave than see any more of this. Farewell, Sam. Ah, there you are. But where's Sam? Sam? <laughs> Sam, no. you! No. Ah, Sam. Are you okay, boy? You look slim. Wait a minute. I've got something for you. Wow, Sam. You look slim and trim. Think it's me, Washington in disguise. How does Sam do it? It's exhausting. I need to take a break. Honey, where's Washington? Hmm? Washington? Washington! 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 Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's honey bunch. Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's honey bunch. Come here, honey bunch, my little lunch. <sighs> Looks like somebody's putting on weight. <sighs> here we go, the diet talk. Well done. 
fun, my friend. Yes. Enjoy. Oh. You can eat one more, can't you, piggy boy? <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Washington? Oh, no! I'd rather leave than see any more of this. It's all my fault that he left. <laughs> this was his first birthday with us. I looked really cute that day. Maybe somewhere along the way, we stopped showing Washington how much we love him. Oh, honey, you're great. It's me. I've been too wrapped up in my work. Group hug! <laughs> no cookie can compare to Washington, even if it is insanely, unbelievably delicious. Washington, you just hang in there. I'm gonna bring you back home. Honey? Honey Bunch! Where are you, ham to be? Oh. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, you little piece of fat ham? I say you want ham, I say you want lunch, you don't want a name that's honey bun. Say you want ham, say you want lunch, you don't want a name that's honey bun. Say, isn't that the nickname that lady gave to Sam? Honey bunch? Yep! Uh, no, not exactly. He's gonna be in the oven! She's gonna turn him into a big fat ham? No! Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh. Sam, come back! Come on, Vic. It's good karma. Meow, meow, meow. I think Victoria wants a cuddle, dear. Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's honey bun. Sam! <sighs> Washington, help! Let's go home, buddy. What's all that racket? Oh, man! Hey, that's my costume. Not bad, right? Master Sam, she wants you for dinner! Come back here, honey bunch! The oven is reheated! <laughs> faster, Sam! Faster! Come on! I'm here for you, buddy! Focus! Noose! 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 Faster! She's standing on us! This is our chance! Yeah! <laughs> be so selfish anymore. <sighs> Don't worry, Sam. The most important thing is that we're still best friends. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Honey, look who's home. Give me a hug, my sweet little doggy. P.U. 
Somebody smells like garbage. <laughs> Pew, you, you stink. Right. Okay. Starting now, it's all about motivation. New eating habits, new Sam. Mm -hmm. yeah! Oh, Sam! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Another reason to be thankful we're now indoor pets. What? What's the other reason? <laughs> I can't see anything except rain. That's what I mean. <clears throat> we're all nice and dry indoors. Instead of out in the rain for once. <sighs> What's wrong with the rain? That animal is a disgrace to cats. Seriously, Wash. Rainy days in the woods weren't so bad. Are you Kidding. We can never find a bush big enough to cover your butt. And my nuts would fill with rainwater. Me, I would always burrow deep into my foxhole until it was over. No wonder you decided to glom onto my awesome indoor life. Like pooping in a box? Okay, Washington, time to do your business. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Come on, Washington, I don't want to play chase right now. <laughs> Washington? <laughs> Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Wash! Mercy, not as young as I used to be. Is this fun for you? Because it is not fun for me. Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Almost too easy. Gotcha! What has gotten into you? What are you? Honey, help! What's the matter? Washington won't go out. I don't know why he's acting this way. Maybe he just doesn't want to get soaked. Think about it, dear. who goes to the bathroom outside. Washington, I'm going to go dry off. Then I'm going to take an aspirin and lie down. When I come back, you are going outside. Ooh, you're in trouble. All right, all right. You don't have to make it so dramatic. What else are we going to do? Many days are boring. You just better hope the rain stops by the time Mr. L comes back. Big deal. Even if it does, no problemo. I can hold it. Not me. I gotta go. Be back. Get out of Let's all go together. Oh. 
guess I'm the only one who goes to the bathroom outdoors. Like a gentleman. How long can this rain last anyway? Washington? Washington! Where the heck is that dumb dog? <laughs> wow. What the? This ottoman could use a good scrub. It stinks. Or I need to wash my feet. Oh, Washington! <laughs> what? I do not stink. A human's nose is a hundred times less sharp than ours, and he could still smell you. Yes, you do stink. <sighs> After dinner, tonight. No way! I bet for tomorrow, 8 a.m. I give him one more hour before he explodes. No, you guys are awful. I can't believe this is what you think of Washington, our friend. Thank you, Sam. He can last at least two days, and I'm willing to bet everything I've got on that. <laughs> I can't decide if I'm flattered or betrayed. It's hard to think when you really, really have to go. Hey! <laughs> not in your dreams, not in your imagination, not even in your imagination while you're dreaming. Fine, you're not the only one with a litter box. No, but I'm the only one with a litter box that employs anti-you technology. <laughs> This is a mess. Is that a bone? <sighs> Sam, what are you eating? <sighs> no, no! It would be more painful to use that litter box than to hold it in any longer. <sighs> what is all this? Eugenie, your crate is filled with junk. It's not junk. A sleeping bag with storage pocket, a weird clock, a bunch of small portraits of numbers, and that's an apple. No way, it's too tight. I need bathroom! 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 Stop! You can't fit in there! No, Washington, the need to pee is getting to your brain! You've gone crazy! <laughs> bathroom! I think it's time for action. Bathroom! <laughs> you know, splashing me with water isn't the best way to get me to forget that I have to go to the bathroom. <gasps> Wait! This is where the humans go. I can just use this room like they do. Some privacy, please. You can't. It's impossible. Who knows if humans even go to the bathroom? Of course humans go to the bathroom. How do you know? I've smelled things. <laughs> Great. You can discuss this further outside. Send me a recap. Okay, Washington, you can figure this out. What would a human do in here? No, that can't be right. How are you supposed to bury it after you're done? Maybe they use these to smell better after they've done their business. But there are so many different ones. Man, humans must really stink the place up. Well, I know it couldn't be this big water bowl. Who would do such a thing to perfectly good drinking water? Forget it. Maybe Sam's right because I don't see how humans can use this room at all. Oh, my God. 
boy, oh boy. Can a dog have some privacy? <laughs> Take a hike! No, oh, how can every bush be taken? I can't just go out in the open like this. I can't do this to food. No, oh, how can so many things fit under one sink? No more choice. I can't hold it anymore. Wash. Washington? What, what are you doing, boy? Just look at that. That's amazing. This little fellow just learned how to go by himself now. What a clever dog. This really deserves a photo, dear. Sure it does. <laughs> See you later, boy. And don't forget to flush when you leave. Ah, free at last! And it's a beautiful day now. Hmm, I like the smell of the grass after the rain. What? Don't worry, Betty. I got you covered. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Your new companion. You must be very nice to her, understand? I'm counting on each of you, all right? Honey, don't you think you're going a bit overboard? I'd like to remind you that this is my boss's pet, Sal. It's not my fault he asked me to look after her during the ham and bacon fair. Hello, my name is Brigitte. Victoria. Ooh, I just love your style. Me too. I just love my style. <laughs> I also love your sense of humor. Hey there, I'm Wash- I'm Sam, pleased to meet you. You are as pretty as a garbage truck. Huh? Hmm. Say what? Ignore him, Brigitte. He's the most boorish cat I've ever met. Come on, I'll show you around the house. It's no palace, but it's comfy. Oh, by the way, just call me Vic. That's what my friends call me. What? Did I see something wrong? Sam, a garbage truck is not a compliment. If you want her to like you, make her laugh. Girls love that. Really? Cool. Bunny humor is my strong point. <sighs> Thanks, Wash. And this is the bathroom. No! <laughs> that was a good one, huh? I don't think we have the same sense of humor. Are you okay, Brigitte? Yeah. Uh, let's go. What a dork. Sam, I told you to make her laugh, not to ridicule her. Well, what? When we see that joke on TV, everybody laughs. But not to impress a girl. Try offering her flowers. In Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro is always giving flowers to Veronica. <laughs> flowers? That is, like, so tacky. Ha! Huh? Because you think you know better than Dr. Alessandro? Veronica, I love you. Dr. Alessandro, I am not Veronica. Angelica. <laughs> Here, Brigitte, this is for you. A present. Thank you, Sam, but a... <laughs> not too. Will you just get lost along with your flowers? Can't you see they make her sick? 
Go away, Sam. Oh, why does it work with Dr. Alessandro and not with me? Yum, they're so delicious. <sighs> Boy, can he ever be a clumsy oaf. No, stop it. You're too hard on him. There's no way he could know I was allergic to flowers. Gotcha! <laughs> it was really super sweet of him. I mean, how cute was that? Yeah. What? You don't mean you like him. Well, it is the first time a cat has ever offered me flowers. Don't tell me you'd go out with him. Mm -hmm. No way, are you crazy? We're from two totally huh? different worlds. You don't mix cats and pigs. On the other hand, if he were a pig or a wild boar, who knows? Mm -hmm. Gosh, she likes me, she likes me. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Can't you see? I'm taking off my costume so that Bridget will know that I'm a wild boar. What? Are you crazy? Do you want the living shows to send us back to the forest? I remind you that we left the forest because we couldn't take any more of it. And that's also why we wear costumes! In the forest, you can say farewell to Kibble, the sofa, and the TV. Maybe we could take the TV with us. And you could always watch your films on the Livingstones tablet, no? Listen up, Sam. Here's what I suggest. I take the Livingstones out for a walk, during which time you take off your costume and tell her everything. But be careful, not outside, huh? In the house. That way, we forget about the forest, you stay here, and everybody's happy. Okay, can we do that? Wash, you're the best! Okay, they're gone! Go! Why are you doing this? It's not Christmas. No, but it is super romantic. You just wait and see. Brigitte's gonna love it. Brigitte, you gotta come. Sam has a surprise for you. Ha, ha. Another one of his great unfunny jokes, I bet. Forget it, Brigitte. Yo, why should I? Coming, Eugenie. If you get a bucket full of tomato sauce on the snout, whatever you do, don't come complaining to me. <laughs> Ta-da! It's me, Sam. Uh -huh. 100% wild boar. 99% pure pork. Sam, is that you? It really is you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how marvelous, Sam. And love makes me now be seated. Pull out the chair for her. What? <laughs> You're not gonna pull it out from under me, are you? <laughs> No, of course not. 21 P stops in half an hour, Wash? This is kind of worrisome. Mm -hmm. uh, my boss. Hello, sir. So, how's the ham and bacon fair going? What? N -n -n now? Uh, yes, I'm with her. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. You wish to speak with her? <laughs> uh, but, 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 of course. <laughs> uh, say hi to Daddy, Brigitte. Oink, oink. Uh, what? Horse? No, she's doing perfectly well. Uh, I'm going into a tunnel. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you anymore. He's arriving at our house in three minutes. Quick, we've got to go home. Hurry up, Wash. Whoa. Angelica, I will love you for the rest of my life and even after. Oh, Dr. Alessandro. <laughs> Ah, a wild boar! Go on, beat it! Scram, you wild beast, you! Get your paws off, Brigitte! Yeah. Uh. Brigitte! Come back here! Brigitte! No, my paws! We stole for time! Brigitte will come home. She's a show pig after all. Ah, 
sir. What a pleasure to see you. In fact, Brigitte was just uh, taking a bath. In fact, I'm going to go back right now. We wanted her to be perfectly clean for you. Speed it up now. I'm in a hurry, Livingstone. Everything went well? <laughs> of course. Oh, I've never shown you my stamp collection, have I, boss? Just wait and see. It's quite unique. We've got to get Sam his costume right away. Otherwise, he won't be able to come home. But, but this is horrible. We're certainly not going to live here. Well, why not? Don't be scared. Having lived here myself, I can assure you that if you're extremely careful, the forest can be very charming. Yeah! So this is your pretty little love nest? Well, in the forest, nests are usually for birds. We... I want to go home. Otherwise, I'm going to scream. Go home? But we can't. I don't even have my costume. Ah! Sam, Brigitte, great idea screaming. It would have taken us hours to find you otherwise. Here, isn't this what you are looking for? Yeah. Thank you, Eugenie. Can we go home now? You betcha. And the sooner the better, because otherwise things are going to really heat up for Mr. Livingstone. Your owner's already there. Yeah. Just one last thing. Can I have a word with you, Sam? Ah, hmm? oh, sweetheart's little secret. Okay, so listen. You and me, it's not going to work. So I suggest we take a break. A long break. In fact, a very, very, very long break. <laughs> Awesome! I didn't dare ask you myself. Me? Oh, what a nice little bath, huh, Brigitte? Let's scrub behind the ears. <laughs> there! Voila! I've been waiting for five hours now. That's enough. I want to see my Brigitte. show myself to my owner if I'm covered in mud, you bunch of wild wood. Oh. I want to see my Brigitte. Brigitte. Livingstone, for a minute there, I thought you were hiding something from me. Oh, sir, that's not my style at all. Good riddance. I thought you two were friends. Not really. I always had problems with the animals she hung out with. You gonna be okay, Sam? You don't miss her too much? Miss who? <laughs> Good old Sam. A wild boar dressed up as a cat with the memory of a goldfish. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I won at the Cat vs. Cat Contest, a tournament that takes place the first day of spring every year. Hey, what a coincidence! Today is the first day of spring! I get it. You're practicing with your ball for the tournament. <laughs> no way. Never. Do you hear me? I will never participate in that contest ever again. And I never want to hear another word about it again either. Because you lost. Lost? And that! That's what? A loser's trophy, I suppose? I won it in a grueling fight to the bitter end. Whoa! Hey, 
<laughs> Can we play with your ball? Not even in your dreams. You put one paw on it, or even so much as look at it, and I'll make sure you get a one-way ticket to the darkest corner of the darkest forest in the world! Four, five, six, and bingo! I'm touching it. I'm looking at it. <laughs> can I touch it and look at it too? <laughs> you can look at it, but pause off. I promise. <laughs> oh. A table what? <laughs> We didn't do anything, Vic. We're talking about <laughs> You should have seen the expression on your faces. Whoa, sis. What a great imitation. Whoa. It's, like, so pretty. Oh, there you are. Oh. 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 ever finds out that her trophy has disappeared, her vengeance will know no limits. She'll tell the Living Stones that we're wild animals for sure. Ah! <laughs> Meow! Louder! Meow! Uh, are you feeling okay there, Nugget? Uh, no time for small talk. You've got to rehearse if you want to be in top shape for cat versus cat. Oh, right. The tournament. Are you entering too, Washington? Nugget, must I remind you that Washington is not a cat? A cat? Say there, Fluffy. You know everything about everything. Where is the contest taking place? In no? that nearby alley. Hey, that's enough. Back to rehearsing, Nugget. <laughs> I know exactly how we're going to get Victoria's ball back. We'll sign Sam up for the cat versus cat contest. What? Of course, with the strength of a wild boar, Sam will clobber all those whippy cats. He wins the tournament, we get the golden ball, replace Victoria's, and nobody's any the wiser. For sure, Sam's the strongest. Yeah, but Sam doesn't know how to fight. It doesn't matter. Just wait and see. <laughs> Look at you! You look super impressive! Okay, let's test you out! Awesome! Didn't feel a thing! <laughs> what is all the ruckus? What are you supposed to be with that new costume? A pet hippo? <laughs> no, it's nothing. We're just playing. Uh, uh, Sam the trampoline! <laughs> Wanna play? I don't think so. <laughs> Losers. Phew! All you have to do, Sam, is stay in the ring, not move, and wait until your opponent tires out. Let's go to the tournament! I say, who's the strongest? The awesomest, the terribleest of all cats in the world? Who is gonna turn his opponents into mushy cat food? <laughs> no one even dares step into the ring. You're the winner! <laughs> He's such a wimp, he won't even make it past the first round. Just do like I told you to. Take the blows and don't budge, okay? Yeah, well, I couldn't budge even if I wanted to. Make room for the ref. I'd like to remind you of the rules for the cat versus cat contest. You each take turns fighting, and it is strictly forbidden to touch your opponent. <laughs> Quiet! The first one who makes a noise is out of here. And don't forget, I know each and all of your little secrets. All right, then. Like last year, the winner is the one who makes the most intimidating meow. Oh, no! It's a meowing duel, not a boxing match? We're goners! Sam can't meow to save his life. And the first meow goes to... Scrawny! 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 like Scrawny is suffering from a handicap that all you cats know only too well. A major hairball crisis. Maddox! And the winner of the first
this round by default is Sam. Yeah! We won! The golden ball is all ours! Yeah! That was only the first round. Besides, we were lucky. Sam cannot meow. <laughs> Trying to like me. Meow. Okay, we're gonna concentrate on your meowing. Repeat after me. Meow. No, oh, sorry. I mean, seriously, it's not that difficult to do. Whoa, now that's what we need. Did you hear that, Sam? Whoa. If only Susie could take Sam's place in the tournament. <gasps> Why, of course. Susie, do you read me? Ready? Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. I'm ready. <laughs> With a meow like that, we're going to win that golden ball hands down. I mean, really, Nugget, is this a good time for you to be eating? The tournament isn't over yet. I need a protein booster if I'm going to win the cat versus cat final. Okay, true, I'm battling that loser Sam in the final, but I'm going to walk all over him. Huh? Sam? In the cat versus cat tournament? What in the world is going on here? Trying to say something? <laughs> it's not working! Hey, Susie, what's going on in there? It's not my fault! Sam closes his mouth every time I meow! You want Susie to meow? Paw on chest, okay? <laughs> Get it over with and give up, why don't you? <laughs> 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 for the final! Sam! Sam! This victory is the victory of teamwork! Team that I coach with my brilliant strategy. Yeah! For the final, I only got one thing to say. Sam, just keep doing what you've been doing. Don't change anything. Susie, really let go! Be generous with your voice. Go for the biggest meow ever! The huh? for the last round of Cat vs. Cat run we're gonna win for sure! Everything's going to go great! There's no way you can lose against that fat potato brain, Sam! And Sam opens the battle! Sam! 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 I get it. You want me to start, is that it? So that you'll get the last meow? Sure, why not? Time out! Time out! 30 seconds time out! We got a major problem. Susie has lost her voice. She can't meow. But what are we gonna do, Wash? Victoria is never gonna forgive us! Where's my golden ball? Hey, Victoria, can't you see that we're in the middle of the final that I'm about to win? <laughs> uh, let me explain. You see, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Incredible! For the second consecutive year, Victoria has won the Cat vs. Cat Contest! <laughs> big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! That was one close call, guys. Uh, the 
Victoria, <laughs> really, it's uh, not at all what you think, believe me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>